Just your views on general market trends today? Uh, well, um, of course, we've seen some, some sort of rebound from yesterday's weak numbers. Uh, and the reason is uh, we've seen uh, KQ again, like you've just reported, uh, produce positive results. And again, today, Nation has just announced some good growth numbers. The, the, the half-year profits are up above 1 billion Kenya shillings. Uh, so we're happy about that. So all in all, we're, we're seeing positive numbers from both industrials and, uh, and financials uh, despite of, in spite of the weak economic outlook that you're seeing, I mean that you're getting. And uh, of course that doesn't mean that they're going to be performers for the rest of the year, but uh, it also sends out the message that things are not as bad as, as some were, were meant to believe they are. All right, let's talk about uh, Kenya Airways because for the longest time it is the darling of uh, investors in the market. They've done a lot by way of boosting passenger figures, increasing their routes and also refurbishing and expanding on their fleet. But you know, given how subdued the Kenyan market is, can KQ continue to perform so well? Well, um, I think the, the, the biggest business comes from uh, African African roots and um, we expect that to be the case going forward. I mean, that's a strategic outlook. So we, we um, for fine as long as uh, there's there's not too much competition, you know, given that the fact that the, the advantage of, of JKIA, both in terms of facilities and uh, uh, positioning, I think they've got uh, early movers advantage on, on other, com other countries in the, in the region. And of course they have uh, they have an advantage even in terms of the infrastructure available here. So, the, for for the, I, I think for the for the near term, KQ will st should be able to con to to continue performing because even the routes that they are, that they are opening up are uh, the, the some of them are median routes and uh, uh, the, the the plan of course is to make Nairobi the hub for for East and Central Africa and perhaps even Africa. So you, from Nairobi, you could almost get to anywhere within Africa. Mm. And uh, for as long as that is a, the, the case, uh, J KQ should be able to continue performing. All right, Barclays down today. That's as the market awaits results coming through. Now, this is one of those banks where, you know, they are a niche player and they've been looking to go mainstream and hence that rights issue that we saw earlier on in the year. What are you expecting? Well, for Barclays, um, you, you, you made you, someone could actually argue that perhaps they have been oversold uh, p simply because uh, the, the negative sentiment arises from the fact that uh, they sold their, um, their, their custodial business. It was an Africa, Africa wide move, uh, perhaps, but uh, we, uh, we, of course, their earnings should take a hit, but how much is the question? And, mm -hmm. so, and I think that the market is a bit too skeptical on, on, on that front. Mm -hmm. and and hence the reaction you're seeing. But hopefully uh, skeptics should be proved wrong tomorrow uh, and, and mm. maybe introduce some stability. I mean, uh, Barclays, how do they fare in relation to some of the uh, bigger blue chip banks like the KCBs and the equities where we've seen very sharp growth in terms of their earnings figures, in terms of growing and expanding their loan books, just managing their capital adequacies? How, how does where does Barclay feature in that role? Ba Barclays, I think, have taken a very conservative view. I, I think they still had the ability to to grow as quickly as perhaps uh, not 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 may, may not have grown as quickly as equity have, but they should have, they could have maintained uh, momentum such as that which KCB has or or even um, cooperative bank. Uh, but they, they they I think they've deliberately taken a conservative view. They mm. they from from the talks I've had with some of some of them um, they I think they are they they think the the retail loan sector has be, is overcrowded and they and and presents they, they think that presents a, a huge risk for them right. so they've deliberately stepped out stayed out of that uh, space and if you look at their books properly you'll see that they have been lending less and less mm. and uh, to to the retail sector and perhaps more and more to government so uh, perhaps they're waiting for the market to, right. to, to hit to, to bottom out and then maybe they can look at uh, the opportunities then 
but as, but as for now, I think um, they're not willing to take the risk in, in landing. Right, talk to us about Safaricom. It's been a long time since we spoke about Safaricom, given its size on the market, trading again in the region of 370. Um, is this the new resistance, I think, for Safaricom? I mean, about a year ago, it was headed towards five, and that's what we thought was a psychological position. Things have really turned for them. What really needs to happen there? Well, uh, of course, you, one of the factors you've got to take into account when, when looking at Safaricom, of course, and any other stock in the Nairobi Stock Exchange is the interest rates. Uh, that, that, has, that has subdued asset prices. However, uh, if you look at the business itself, um, voice was not as uh, hard hit as it was expected uh, when they re released their, their, their full years. And, and it has taken some time for the market to process that information. Similarly, um, the, the other factor to look at perhaps also is the is is uh, data 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 business and of course the uh, M-Pesa business, which has really grown in leaps and bounds. I think they boast right now of about 14 million customers going on, uh, looking to go on to 17 million, and and that represents a huge uh, amount in terms of uh, earnings from from both uh, for, uh, money money transfers. And of course, even uh, fringe services like um, they actually lend uh, for calling. Uh, a very interesting business they have there. Mm. And uh, I think the default rates are low as well. And, and the earnings are good. So the, it's this value added services, the, the ingenuity of the new of the products that they keep developing, things like uh, Safaricom business, mm. where they can even do uh, things like um, uh, tele telemedicine. So. Okay. The, 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 they've got quite a bit of uh, product development going on that is helping uh, drive, I mean, the, the new growth mm. drivers. And uh, of course, on the basis of data. Right. Uh, and and, and that, that, that is what is actually, the market is looking at it okay. driving them forward.